Welcome back to the Westgate Tennis Center. Now, players come from all around the world to compete here in the Hardys Pro Classic, and some are from right here in the United States. And now the number one USC, Jennifer Brady, joins me now with all of her success. So, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So please tell me, how long have you been playing tennis? Um, I... I mean, I'm 23 now. I just had a birthday last week. Uh, Happy birthday. Yes, thank you. Um, so I started playing tennis in um, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I was probably about eight years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so, you went on long to... Long time. Yeah, so then you went on to UCLA, and you turned pro your sophomore year. So how would you compare... Granted, you played on the tennis team there. How would you compare college tennis to your pro tennis? Yeah, um, I mean, I definitely enjoyed my time at UCLA. I played for Stella Sampras and Rance Brown for two years. And, um, you know, I think it was a great experience for me. I l definitely learned a lot there. But, you know, I think pro tennis is a lot more intense and, um, you know, it's a bigger commitment um, because it's your only focus in uh, school. You know, you also have uh, academics and other things like that. Well, you mentioned commitment. So then how do you balance your pro life with your personal life? Uh, I mean, I'm still trying to learn that. Um, I mean, you know, Tennis is very consuming, and I think, um, you know, I really enjoy the sport, and I love it, but, um, but you know, there's also times where you kind of have to get away, and, um, you know, a lot of my friends also play tennis, so there's a lot of things we have in common with that. Now, you mentioned getaway, so whether that's getaway from here in the United States, but you have traveled to France, England, so many other places. What would you say is your favorite place that you have traveled to thus far, and why? Australia. Uh, I would definitely say Australia because... The people there are so friendly. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just love it. And the people, the food, the weather, everything about it. There's not one negative thing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see yourself going back at all to go to Australia? Uh, I mean, it's so far. So uh, unless it's um, for a tournament, which, you know, they only have in the beginning of the year. Um, so, yeah, I'll be going back every year uh, in January. But other than that, it's, it's, uh, it's a long flight. And as you mentioned, uh, going back to your time commitment, you say time commitment, but I don't think a lot of people really know what it's like to be a pro. So what is your time commitment? How long do you practice? How many days? Uh, yeah, about uh, six days a week, usually Sundays or Saturdays off, depending on, um, you know, tournament schedules, things like that. But usually when I'm home, I'm training uh, 9 to 11, um, and then I'll have lunch, and then uh, sometime in the afternoon, maybe two to four again, and then um, after that, uh, a session in the gym, either wow. you know lifting or doing cardio or some sort. So it's all day. It's a nine to five job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so obviously you need to keep your energy up, but I must know, even though you obviously are very healthy with what you do, do you have like a cheat meal or like a go-to that you just like I just can't resist? Uh, I mean, yeah, typical American burger and fries. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us, and I know you play at 6 o'clock tonight, so good luck. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Well, up next, Evan has a full look at your forecast, but first, let's take a live look from our Alpha Sky Cam. You are looking live from Montgomery. Live at lunch, we'll be right back.